Officials in North Charleston say seven months of affordable housing progress has flown by under the helm of Mayor Reggie Burgess and community partnerships. Live 5's Caitlin Ashbaugh is live in North Charleston this evening. Caitlin, Mayor Burgess says changes are coming, but gradually, tell us more. Hey, Ann Rock. Well, when Burgess first campaigned for the mayor's office back in 2023, he pledged to make affordable house building one of his top priorities, and he's reflecting on it now. He says that since he took office in January, it hasn't moved as quickly as he hoped, but it has made a change. Now, the city, they work to address these issues through partnerships with nonprofit organizations and some developers, and Community First Land Trust, Metanoia, and Habitat for Humanity are among them. City-owned land, usually abandoned or empty lots in existing communities, can be deeded to the nonprofit, which is given a certain amount of time to build affordable units. If they don't do so in the needed time frame, the land is then given back to the city. An item on tonight's council agenda would have donated two properties in the Oak Grove or 10 Mile community. These lots would be located on Robertson Boulevard, which already does hold some affordable housing duplexes down the street. That item was removed. City Council and the nonprofit involved say they took a step back to review the project in the name of transparency and streamlining the process. Burgess says housing is on the brink of a crisis and still one of the most dire needs here in North Charleston to help build generational wealth. I understood why, why people had no choice but to live on housing because they didn't have the opportunities financial. Um, when you live around people who are struggling, you live around people who are just, just trying to just trying to get an opportunity to elevate themselves. And you see how hard they're working. But most importantly, you saw the family, you know, mechanics. Well, the city of North Charleston website, it predicts 50,000 new residents here by 2040. And it's something that Burgess says needs infrastructure balance. Reporting in North Charleston, Kayla Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.